Alright guys, so what's up? Today I just wanted to, well, I'm going to start a series on creating an operating system. Um, so, uh, let's actually just get right into it. Uh, the programming language we are going to be using mainly is C Sharp, but you could still follow along with this tutorial using Visual Basic or any, well, really any programming language from the net framework. If you wish, you could even mix in languages such as Visual Basic, C Sharp, and C++, and C, and your operating system will work fine. The only issue you may run into is plugs. We will talk about plugs later. Anyway, so the first thing you're going to want to do is to close your Visual Studio. I have Xamarin Studio, which is a C Sharp IDE, however, it will not work. You require Visual Studio. Now that you have Visual Studio installed, I hope, you will download this Cosmos Dev Kit. It is the API we will be using to create our operating system. Some prerequisites before we install Cosmos, you will need VMware Player or VMware Workstation. I would recommend VMware Player. And you need Botch. So let me show you here. This is VMware Player 64 bit. Oh, my bad. Um. Well then, so you're gonna need um, VMware Sorry, you're gonna need VMware Player or Workstation 64 and I recommend that you use Player The next thing you're going to need is you're going to need BOCHS, B-O-C-H-S. Once you have these, you're going to go ahead and click the install vs 2015bat So it says this file is used to build a blah 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 blah. And if we run it here, um, it will just do that and then it's going to do this. So it might take a while. It usually doesn't, but like I already have it installed, so like I have no clue what this is gonna do. <laughs> like at the start, I thought that it would just like bring up an error. You have this installed, but I guess it's installing again. If it hangs here, it's completely normal, and it is simply doing a background process. If it does not complete, and it is pretty obvious when it completes, after a very long amount of time, then you should probably restart. However, it will complete, I hope. In most cases, it will. After. 
after he got through here, obviously. Now, I already have this installed, so it does not really matter to me. And I'm just gonna kill this. Which you should probably not do. And then uh, go ahead and open up Visual Studio. Now, it's opening up a demo right now. So. I'll, it'll just give you an idea of what's happening with Cosmos. So, um, damn. There are uh, quite a lot of uh, plugs. No, I don't think those are plugs. Oh, wait. Never mind. Um, this is the source code of Cosmos. It's open source. Um, you just have to go to the GitHub. Anyway, what you're going to do is you're just going to want to open up Visual Studio. Ah, I opened two. Rip. After you have Cosmos installed, open up Visual Studio. You're gonna click New Project. Now, uh, let me just find it here. Um, you're gonna wanna get a uh, Cosmos operating system. Hold on. A C sharp operating system from Cosmos. You can name it whatever you want. Actually, I'll probably change the name really quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call my solution uh, Aspenzos. Aspenzos. Okay. Now you should see this. This is what happens before it runs. So you should say like console console that right on. This is probably this probably should like be where you initial initialize every like variable and stuff, but it's up here. Well, it's not. Oh, you get the point. So here we can write like Aspens has booted successfully. I'll actually zoom in a bit here for you. I'm gonna change like the console console dot uh, four color. Oh my god, foreground color equals console color that green and. If we just boot this up really quick. This is how you'll be debugging. It's going to open up your VMware workstation player. So as you can see, Aspen's OS has booted successfully. You're here, you're gonna type your input. This is just the demo. So whatever you type will get it echoed back to you. 
as you can see, it gets echoed back to you. This, okay, so you might run into some problems. For example, plugs. Plugs. I think we'll just get on plugs in a later episode. Here, we're just going to set up some um, methods are not supported, such as console.b. That's the first one that came to my head. Um, it's in run, so it's going to loop. So it's going to make a sort of cool effect, but at the same time, it's going to... It's not what you want. See, not implemented B. So, my OS, which is Aspen's OS, the goal of it will be to be a pen testing operating system that is also easy to use and very initiative. It is it is a very professional pen testing op operating system. However, anybody can use it, no matter how experienced they are in computers. If they have no experience at all, they can get the hang of it in one day or less. That's the end goal. So, if you get, so like, if you ever get an error and you decide to like, try Cosmos yourself, you can always, um, just stay tuned for my, uh, more episodes on Cosmos. I will go over very many things and, um. Uh, I'm actually going to make an episode, like, right after this. So, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really hope you enjoy. I wish you all the best with your operating system. Have fun.